All right, welcome back. So last night, the 65th annual Grammy Awards took place in Los Angeles, aired right here on CBS. And I have a lot of I thoughts this today to share about it. So I was thinking about it all night, uh -huh. all day. There were just so many big things that happen. I okay? usually just wait to get Blake's take because I really <laughs> you always do have opinions. Yeah, yeah, okay. So hit me with it. So first up, all right, the woman of the night, Beyonce, okay? So she was kind of highly talked about anyway um, because she was nominated for so many awards. Her album's been huge this year, right? So this is her after um, she won, I think it was like dance album of the year or something. Um, but the reason everyone's celebrating, aside from the fact that she won, is she broke a Grammy record. She now has 32 Grammy Grammys that she's won, and that's the most ever won in Grammy history. What's the pr prior record, just 31? I think it was 31. Charles and I looked up, I think it was 31. Now, what's funny, okay, is like for like the first hour of the Grammys, they kept saying like, oh, Beyonce's not here, she's stuck in traffic, which really threw me off because I'm like, what? Like, you're a celebrity, you're one of the most nominated like artists of the night, you and you're late. predict yeah. traffic and go ahead and get there which early. Which was like so funny. LA, right? Yeah, okay. and so the first award she won of the night, she actually wasn't even there for, which was really funny. These two guys that wrote the song with her kind of did that. That's hilarious. Um, another quick thing though, really fast. I am, I'm just gonna say, I'm gonna throw it out there. I'm suspicious that her and Jay-Z are having issues and I'll explain more of that later. But okay, Blake. Okay, so um, this is Harry Styles on screen now. His performance kind of shocked me and not in a good way. Okay. So he has also been highly talked about. He won two Grammys last night during the show. Um, but his performance, he seemed like, to me, just super exhausted. His vocals were not that great, uh -huh. but he's relatively super, he's normally super, um, super good live. So it didn't make sense to me that he wasn't so good. I think he's just exhausted. Uh -huh. um, Charles and I looked it up after and he's on tour until July and he's been on tour for like a year. So I think homie just needs some sleep. Like I think he's out <laughs> so of it. So I love that that was your, that you noticed that and then you look it up and you're like, yeah, it makes sense. Yeah, you know? And that's exactly. why I want to hear more about yeah. Beyonce and Jaycee. Yeah, you hear exactly. That. Okay, so on screen now you're gonna see, um, they announced that it was the 50th anniversary of hip hop. So they did this massive like 10 minute oh, wow. hip hop tribute for all different kinds of artists from all different kinds of decades out, which was really special. Um, this you're seeing now, they did this really cool um, kind of like in memoriam performance that they do every year. But instead of having like one person do it or a group of people, they had three different individuals kind of stick out to do it. So it started with Casey Musgraves um, with Loretta Lynn, and then it switched to um, Quavo and Maverick City doing it to Offset, who died earlier this year. Mm -hmm. And then lastly, it was Sheryl Crow and um, Bonnie Rat, and then um, I can't remember the other guy's name, but they did it to, um, I can't remember her name right now, Christine, whatever, from Fleetwood Mac, who passed earlier oh. this year or last year. So that was really cool. Right. Now here, was one of the most shocking moments of the whole night, right? Okay, so okay. first Lady Joe Biden comes out, presents his word, which was crazy. And then Bonnie Rat wins song of the year. Okay, personally, so the song is called Just Like That, Bonnie Raitt, by the way. Uh -huh. um, so I've never even heard this song. I don't know if but other yet, people song have, of the year. but it was song of the year. But here's what was crazy. It was, uh -huh. it was up against like Harry Styles, Adele, Lizzo, Doja Cat, Taylor Swift which right. you know everybody freaks out about her so right. it was really kind of wild to me kind that of she out won. Of left field, huh? Absolutely out of left field. Um this is kind of towards the end of the show Harry Styles won the kind of quote unquote biggest award of the night. He won album of the year. Um, so dis <laughs> despite his um, obvious exhaustion, it was really cool to <laughs> see this win. He needs to go to bed. Yeah, <laughs> and you, um, it kind of showed this a second ago, but there was like a big group behind them. They kind of highlighted this like fan group throughout the whole um, award show. And so it was like different people that are like hardcore fans of the different artists that really were rooting for them for album of the year, which was kind of cool. So it was like yeah. an older lady who loved um, so Harry cute. Styles the most. So she actually got to say he won, which was kind of cool. So, yeah. um, but it was, it was overall, I think a decent Grammys. It wasn't the best I've okay. ever seen, but JC and okay. Beyonce. So here Here's the deal, ready? Which maybe after 30 of those, you just don't show up. Right, I don't Go know. Ahead. Okay, but I think they arrived separately because okay. I think he was already there, number one. Number two, when she won the award, instead of like going to like kiss her, hug her husband, which is like the obvious thing that you think would happen, she like went, give me your hands. She like went like this and then just kept walking. I'm like, that's weird. And okay. then in her speech, uh -huh. she thanked like everybody under the sun, Definitely mentioned her three kids, never mentioned Jay-Z. I'm like, something's up okay, with that. Okay, Blake is calling yeah. us right now. So when you see it in the headlines, I said it first. Like tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, and of course, if you want to go back and stream the Grammys so you can catch the whole thing on Paramount Plus, there was a lot of really cool performances to check out. So overall, great award show. That's right. All right.